show you this one. And we there have we it go. all set up. How are you doing, sir? I'm good. How are you? I'm all right. It's been a while. It's been a while. See? Yeah, it's been a while, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Have you been Sorry, I gave you a soft all? handshake. That's okay. Oh, it's, do it again. Do it, yeah. 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 Do it again. Give him a good grip. Proper. <laughs> Ruin the handshakes if you do it like that. Absolutely. So, what have you been up to? <sighs> it's it's gloomy here. It's very Mine's terrible. Yeah. When yeah. I left where I'm from, the bridge up north. Yeah. It was sunny and bright. Yeah, yeah. Come down here, torrential rain. It, it was sunny in Germany this morning. I heard it might be rainy there now, but yeah. Did you fly over today or yesterday? Yeah, this morning. Yeah. I landed at like 11.30, hopped in a cab and got here. Yeah. I've been here now four years in a row. Yeah, yeah. that's every single one. Every single one. And you've been on the panel on every single one. Every single one. <laughs> what do you think of this place I, compared I, I to I should get like a certificate or something. Yeah, yeah. well. <laughs> Yeah, well, oh, but we'll draw we'll you one out. Yeah, yeah just yeah, just scribble it down. Yeah, yeah. 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 As long as it feels, but you got to draw like a like an official yeah. stamp looking thing on it or Chris something. Can do that. He's okay. a painter in good. this one, not me. <laughs> good, good. Yeah, Chris reminded me. I guess uh, when I was talking with him earlier today, he said the very first year they had it, they reached out to me and said, "Hey, will you come?" And I go, "Yeah, I checked. I had the day free, and I went, sure, yeah, I'll come." And he said he didn't believe me. <laughs> I think it's because we were talking about it, wasn't we? And uh, you was on my stream, and I said, yeah. you know, "Would you come?" And you went, "Yeah, of course I'd come." Yeah, and I said to Chris, okay. "He said you'd come." And he's yeah. going, "No, no, of course he won't." Because like, yeah, you said it so like, casually. You're like, "Yeah, <laughs> yeah, sure, yeah." Wait, yeah. I expected to beg. <laughs> so yeah, he said I showed up, and they were like, "Oh, crap, there you are." Yeah. So yeah, and then, and then you haven't regretted it since. No, <laughs> no, honestly, stuff like this. I mean, I try to make it out to all the ones I can if I have the free time. Mm. And sometimes I make the time to be free. I mean, it's, this is really, you know, community coming together and building community and celebrating, you know, uh, yeah. this game and huge universe I feel fortunate I get to work on. So, well, yeah, yeah. About how the community is, is pretty much the foundation of the game itself, you know. 100%. And it's all building up. It is, yeah. So it's, it's um, well, it's we were kind of saying earlier, like how many devs turn up to all these events, and like obviously being near the, 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 the yeah, it helps the place yeah. of work helps, but it's just the fact that everyone's willing to talk to all the backers, absolutely and answer questions, just mingle and chat. It's like it's not even necessarily about the game, it's just the fact that you know, you yeah, know, just developers that love what they're working on and yeah, talking yeah. about it as well. And it's just such a really good show, really. Yeah, it's funny. I mean, there's people now that I have seen four years in a row, even such as you guys yourself, mm -hmm. like, yeah. Just because of this yeah, event, yeah, yeah. right? We didn't jump scare you this time with an interview. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, we've had, we've had our rough times, but you know, we're a all few disagreements. Out. We're all getting a little more mature, I think. <laughs> we're growing up now. Yeah, yeah. we are slightly. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I think it was uh, with this one. Also, last year I showed up. At, they had Con 42 in Frankfurt, which yes. was cool. Um, I even made it out to I one in Paris it. called yeah, Periverse. Periverse, Periverse was yeah. yeah, that was awesome as well. The great turnout. I What's think your favorite? Yeah. Uh, this one, of course. Oh, of course. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Until he gets then. onto that yeah. stream over there, <laughs> and then it's like got a phone vest, obviously. Oh, okay. You know, I think, which is awesome, each of them have their own kind of vibe. Mm, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Honestly, each one had their own, their own thing. Some have more cosplay, some are. You know, the, the the one in Frankfurt was kind of driven really professional and yeah. everything was dialed in. <laughs> no, I mean, no, everything no, just no, meaning no, has, has more of a, each one has its own yeah, different feel, which is yeah. cool because yeah. it's created by individuals. You yeah. Know? No, definitely. Well, so you get everyone's individual sort of spin on each one, so yeah. how they put it together and how they want to show Absolutely. it off. Absolutely. Like, I uh, mean, there's no rule book, there's no right or wrong way. and. How to do and what you should yeah. do, and, and some is better for you and people visiting. Yeah. That it is different because you, yeah, yeah. you're experiencing different things when you go. Well, to it should be it, it, in a way. It should be tailored to the local community. I would yeah. imagine as well. Yeah. Oh, definitely. If that's who you're yeah. trying to, you know, get it, get on board and yeah. want to hang out with. Yeah, especially for, especially for UK because people can't be bothered to leave their front rooms. That <laughs> turn no, up to no. this sort of thing. It's like trying to force them to come. We barely get ourselves <laughs> off the setting to be honest to get here. How was your uh, your panel today then? Uh, it was good. It was good. It was pretty. I mean, it was uh, nothing surprising. It was, yeah. No surprise questions. <laughs> well, 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 we'll take some questions if you don't mind. We don't. Um, we'll wait for them to pop yeah, up. Yeah, I think you've got some. But um, so some of the things is well, well, where have you been? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that gives us kind of vanished. Is it just because of the workload? Or what? It's like you were no, on ATVs it's, to nothing. It's just uh, as I've explained in the past. I mean, we we fortunately have the opportunity to change how we do our media and change how we do our updates and all that stuff um, and we'll 
we change them all for positive reasons at least, hmm. right? We think, okay, well, let's maybe try this approach, let's yeah, try this approach. Good intention behind it. 100%. Hmm. So, I mean, if you go back to when we first started in Frankfurt, I literally would belly up against a webcam on the TV and be like, all right, I'm Brian, <laughs> this is Frankfurt, right? And that's yeah, exactly yeah. what it was. Um, and I got incredibly comfortable doing those after a while. And then it was like, wait, now we have longer updates. Mm. And so now I'm in front of camera for 20 minutes and it more detail and diving yeah. in further. Um, and, you know, we've just changed it up and switched it up. So I haven't gone anywhere. <laughs> I, I'm still working just as hard as we, I ever have been. see you more in I, the, the I new still, I still have the, the, the same amount of information in my head as I was spitting <laughs> yeah. out on camera before. Um, yeah, yeah we, I watched that. Uh, I didn't see it before it aired. I watched it when it aired. Yeah. The new version. Yeah, yeah. in the version. That was tight. Yeah. Are, they, are they coming around to every studio then? Is that the intention? So that you'll have. Frank it's Burton? well. I don't think it's the intention that. Um, hey, let's go to Austin. Hey, let's go to Wimslow. Yeah. I think it's. What are the topics that are relevant? What are the things that we that are new that we can discuss? What's recent progress that would make sense to dive into? Yeah. And then you sort out where those devs are. Yeah. In each office, we have the ability to shoot footage of people. Right. Yeah. So, um, you know, if there's, I would assume, absolutely, there's going to be things that that come into Frankfurt. I was talking with some of the guys that are in charge of capturing the footage and stuff in Frankfurt. And after they saw uh, this come out and saw the, all the, the stuff and how they shot in LA, they go, "Oh, we have to step up our game." Well, that's <laughs> yeah. LA. It's they're Hollywood. like, "Yeah, they're like, dude, the lighting was nice, and yeah. this and that." They're like, "Oh, we got to step up." I'm like, "Oh, you guys got this." Because yeah, we talked to a couple of the, the German developers, and they were saying how there's obviously the developers are not necessarily people that want to sit in front of the camera. So he said, "There's quite a few." camera shy people in the, there are in there the, are and the office. you know yeah there's some guys that i wish i could get on camera mm. that i can't yeah right mm. and to their point which i think is you know it's fair and it's valid and i have to appreciate it and although i'll try to push some guys <laughs> and i've won a couple times yeah um but when they say you know hey you hired me to be an amazing yeah. engine programmer exactly, and yeah. that's what i love to do yeah. and the thought of getting on camera you know, it's, makes my soul not what they up for, makes my it? soul burn. <laughs> I'm like, all I can't right, push that one. No. Yeah. yeah. Now, will they give me footage? Will they write something up that's amazing yeah. and yeah. allow me to read it? And can I shoot footage of them, but they just won't talk? Sure. Okay. So there's other ways yeah. around it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And you've got to cater to all the needs because staff morale is obviously an important thing. Oh, of course, of course. Of course. Yeah. I mean, even that sort of things change from when you started, like how much exposure and going into yeah. the office and everything else. It's like you said, when people apply for the job it's not on the bottom of and also appearing on camera to yeah. to all the yeah. fans yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and then well you know yourself how people will go crazy over weird things like the tonk guy and then your hair of and course like yeah, yeah people so that that puts people off sometimes it's like yeah oh, you don't know it will gonna, gonna i mean even when i stuff. yeah i think anybody who gets on camera the first time you know even if they want to you you read the comments you read the positive you feel good yeah, and then you, you read the them. bad ones you feel bad right so it just takes people getting an understanding that the comments are the comments they're going to yeah. exist however no matter what you do or what you say mm -hmm. right um but uh, yeah i mean there's a hand more than a handful of people within frankfurt that have no problem getting on camera and they can talk well and they know their stuff and you, do you know. find that when people are employed recently like newly employed do yeah. they know or expect to get on camera do they because they know about the game or generally do they have no idea what star citizen is when they first sort of come in and they do the research on the day i i would say a majority a large large majority know the game really well right and they, they know well when i say really well they they at least know of it i mean there's probably 30 40 percent that know it really really well mm. right um some you know we've employed backers and yeah so on and so on um but there is a small percentage you know that just dug into the game before they came in for the on-site interview. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but again, if if their skill sets there and their their background and their track record proves that they can have an impact and they've checked us out and they're really into what we're doing, then you go, yeah, absolutely. Um, I I I mention a little bit uh, 
if I have the opportunity to speak with candidates that, you know, we talk a little bit about overall what we're doing and in part of that discussion is, you know, this unique approach with backers and and how we're very open mm. and um, you know back back in the day which sounds stupid to say um, you you didn't show anything public until it was done yeah right yeah. Yeah. if you're an artist if you're an animator if you're a program yeah, well no you didn't do that because that was a direct reflection on you you felt yeah, yeah, yeah. right and it's judged on that in this company we we, we blast it out quick yeah. right we show the, the the slick polish stuff absolutely and that's that's always that end goal but we also show work in progress mm. quite a bit mm. uh, the amount of pushback sometimes yeah. and does, people have to get comfortable with that i have a, a kind of question on that because um it goes back to what i was going to ask is um obviously when the we first started getting i don't know if you're the best person to ask but when we first started getting parts of the game like the hangar it was more just given to the backers so that they can get a first look at the game and how it's being developed yeah um, whereas as time's gone on and now, especially now, people are expecting it to be playable, I suppose, play yeah. with game literally. Um, is that kind of CIG's intention now for it to be, like, are we still supposed to be getting it and just trying it as a technical thing, or are we supposed to be getting it and playing it more as a game now, like when people say there's no game? Loop, I think like, you're going to see a little bit of both. I mean, um, each quarter we plan to release, right? Um, those releases are going to have a mix of things. Yeah. Sometimes you're going to have new mechanics. Yeah. Um, awesome, more gameplay. Sometimes you're going to have a new planet that has no new gameplay attached to it. It's just new visuals, so it's new content, yeah. right? So I really think it's a it's it's a mix for me. But you um, we do, we do want though, we want more of that churn and more of that playability. Yeah. I mean, right? If you if you speak with uh, numerous people, you know, and, and I know. I, Todd Pappy works in the same office with me, and we always talk about that. Is what is that churn? What is what can I go in and play? What is tangible, right? So there's definitely a focus on that, but uh, with all the global development going on, when content gets done that has no gameplay, we're still going to put it in, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. So I think you're, you're ultimately just naturally going to have a mix. Yeah. 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 It's sort of striking the balance that makes it as playable as possible. Yeah, but. unless you go, okay, here's here's a new planet with a new play area, and here's yeah. four new mechanics that work with that, and here's three new weapons, and here's yeah. this, right? We're not bundling that up and then going, boom, okay, no. yeah. check this yeah. out. Little bits are getting done as they go, and they're getting in, you know, put in there for you guys to explore and to play with. And that's what's good about the roadmap is it does give us an indication as to what to expect, so we can see yeah. what's coming, and it's. Like the way it's going now, it's great. You know, we're getting consistent updates. We're getting them on a regular basis, and they are as, as much as it takes to get these patches balanced and smooth out. They are working. Uh, we saw recently about Crusader, didn't we? Are you, is that your studio handling Crusader and building that up? No. 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 <laughs> dear, dear, dear. Yeah. So I was trying to find a couple of questions. We had one about three points. Uh, I think personal inventories. Yeah. Can you tell us anything about that and what to expect for the nope. first iteration? No? No. Nope. <laughs> How will that affect armor and wearables in the first iteration? We don't know. Can you tell us what uh, you are if, unless, unless I'm confident with the details, I don't want to give details. Because if no. I... Yeah, next thing you know, somebody will be like, Brian, why did you say that? Yeah, right? no, fair enough. No. And it, it's not, you know, yeah, I, I know... A, lot of stuff but when it gets into certain level of details it's I've learned over the years it's best to uh, not say what you don't know no yeah right? and it's, it's happened a lot hasn't it over the last few years well, since the beginning of, of production we've seen people ask something and to something get taken the wrong way and yeah this whole thing starts playing out Maybe yeah yeah um, well someone's asking that, so it's like obviously we've Things that some things you get ahead on, some things you have delays with, and things like that. Do you feel like Star Citizen progressing at kind of how you all hoping at the moment? You know, it's like, or do you feel I like think so. I mean, I think as we as we move forward and as we progress on things, um, you, sometimes you find certain deficiencies in a natural process, right? Um, that sounded a little vague. When I think of, like, uh, right now, when I think of 3.5 uh, and, and its process of going out, um, we got hit with some bugs that we were trying to fix, um, logically. And 
to address those then takes time from really smart resources away from actually doing their other work, yeah. which then ultimately can have a knock-on effect and so on. So uh, we're looking at that a, a bit closely and going, okay, well, should we build up some more resources and have certain people within certain roles to be able to offset for those times? Yeah. Um, that's fine, that's fine. Yeah, because the way I mean, the way we fix things, it's legit. We don't want to ever go in and, and try to uh, patch something that's a hack. Yeah. We have no yeah. sense for that because it just convolutes the process, right? Yeah, it delays it as well. Absolutely. So, but sometimes to fix it the right way is going to take a week or two or three weeks. Yeah. Yeah. But that's, that's you know, we're, we're used to that now, and it's like I say about this roadmap, it gives us that. We know what's coming, so everything, yeah. it, having that little knock-on effect is fine because it changes on a weekly basis. And Absolutely, you can see how it's going, and that's that's always been the case. Is it's good to communicate, yeah, and that stops people getting annoyed. So for us, let's make sure we communicate. The moment something we know is going to slip, let's update that roadmap to reflect that. Yeah. At the same time, if I can bring in and staff up slightly differently to help offset that knock-on effect so it doesn't affect that roadmap as much, yeah, that's, that's that's what I want to start looking into to see how, how we can help stay on track a little bit better. Yeah. What is it that's in the game that you really want to get sorted that's important to you? Like quality of life sort of patches? Well, it's just time. I, uh, there's a bunch. I mean, I, I think if you listen to... It sounds silly, it's not quality of life so much, but it is, um, when you look at the server meshing, I think that's going to open up so much more. Right. Um, as I said a bit ago on the panel, our ability to make content, which, which is, a, you know, when I say content, like let's say a planet, and a mix between, uh, you know, procedurally built and handcrafted and so on. Yeah. Um, you know, the pace of that can outweigh then if I put in everything we created, you know, the servers would just die right yeah. now, yeah. right? Yeah. So having that server meshing in there really removes those constraints in, in a yeah. way, right? So yeah. Absolutely. More Absolutely. I mean, and it made us with 3.5, we had to go and look and say, okay, well, with all the new stuff we've put in, people had to go back and do optimization passes on particles, on lighting, yeah. on AI. People are optimizing everywhere they could. Optimizing is always a good thing. You want it to run as efficient as possible, um, but it just called it out that much more to go. Wait, hold on. We're 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 really a bit more. Yeah, yeah. So it, it just opens us up. Now we would still work smart to make sure things are as optimized as possible. Yeah. You have to logically, uh, but the server machine I think is going to, uh, as Derek was explaining earlier. It gives us more bandwidth in a way. It opens the pipe yeah, a right. little bit, right? Yeah. It'll end up giving, bit, uh, you know, we'll have more content in there, um, ideally then attached with more gameplay. Um, you could open it up to a more, higher player count and you yeah. get better frame rate. Uh, so we got a question that's probably linked to that. As I, uh, Solon is asking about um, the draw distance for player models and things like that, and um, well, it's, I think he's saying it's something like uh, it doesn't seem to update very often around 150 meters, and like will that improve? Um, with, I suppose like server machines or FPS, so, I guess. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it absolutely could. I mean, you. It depends on how you approach the LODs and and when they go in and out, yeah. right? Um, but if you had more memory, if you had a bigger pipe, in a sense, yeah. right, you could draw them further or closer depending on what, what is best. Yeah. Right? I mean, uh, yeah, I've seen times, and you'll see it worse and worse when frame rate goes down. It's harder for the updates to go through. Yeah. It sets priorities on certain things, and you'll start seeing things pop a bit more. It's going a bit crazy. Absolutely. Yeah. No, a lot crazy. Oh, yeah, crazy, crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, when it comes to draw distance, because it's something that sort of, sort of concerned me with some games, like for example PUBG, you can turn all the foliage down, you can, you know, the, the draw distance to help, like on a graphical side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's, do you know what Star Citizen's approach will be on that? Because they don't want to have people reducing something and someone else suffering for that. Are they going to have a restriction to it? I, I don't know what the, the guideline is. I mean, I know. Um, I know there is always a balance. I'm, I'm thinking it through in my head of what we've discussed and what I've read and, and so on. Um, it is always a balance. You don't, you don't want the 
uh, tweaking graphical settings and uh, jacking up your gameplay. No. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Next thing you know, you have, you know, higher fidelity foliage that you can actually see through so you can then see your dude in the distance versus I dumb it down, it's more solid cards yeah. and I can't see through and so on. So um, I don't know what the exact approach is, but I know given the team and where their um, sensitivities lie and thinking on um, the graphical side with Ali and the, and the the uh, rendering guys, um, I know we're going to have that balance in there that works for everybody. Yeah. Right? It, it has to. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> it's just a case of discovering what that is. And... Yeah, I guess the most important part <clears throat> for me is I know those discussions have been had and, and we're talking about it and it's something that's on the books. Yeah. yeah. As opposed to, oh God, we haven't thought about that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right? which, which is most people's reactions on stuff. It's like, I haven't thought about this at all. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's yeah. Adequate, not always clear. Yeah. But yeah, that plays into that. Did you get any more questions? Um, I don't know on this one, but uh, we've had why aim assist. <laughs> <laughs> what's the, what's the what's current all this, what's your what, you know, what's... In the studio at the moment with that, and what's your opinion on it? I, I don't know if I have an opinion. <laughs> it's, too, it's too dangerous to have an opinion. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to stay neutral on it. You know, sometimes sure, sometimes do you love it, sometimes you hate it. Yeah. Yeah. I was, yeah. We won't have that discussion. That's, that's for another day, I think. What's your guys' take on it? I'm sort of staying neutral as well, but the way I see it, and I think it's, it's important, is that it's a skill-based game, and that's what they've always pushed. That's what Chris has always said, he wants people to learn. Yeah. And I was sort of saying, oh, I'd really like the ability to mine better, so if they could just give me this sort of easier assist for mining, and, you know, people were like, what? <laughs> Well, let's get auto aim then, as a joke. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh yeah, good point. You know, if you spend the time learning a mechanic, then you are the benefit. You get the benefit of being able to get paid to do that in yep. the game, and that's the point of getting the best of that. If you give people a leg up, it kind of removes that. But then on the other hand, I understand when new someone new comes into the game, they want to at least be able to take on AI at the very least and be okay because it's a massive learning curve as we know but I'm again I'm, some days I'm like oh no I think it's good some days I think eh, it's a lot of tosh yeah, get yeah. rid and I just can't find a, a, a good thought to it until we see I suppose what they're intending to make it or what you're yeah, yeah. trying to get it to work like exactly there's no way we can really judge it just yet I guess I mean, for me overall, I think it's for the actual chips themselves. I feel like it shouldn't necessarily be there because, again, like we're saying with the skill-based thing, um, I think it's probably got a place. But obviously, it's going to be kind of needed for AI because AI has got to target you somehow and lock on yeah. and try and shoot you. Um, and I think it's probably got a bit of a place for in turrets because at the moment when turrets are so difficult to use and ships flying all over the place, I think it would work fine in that. I just feel. I mean, coming. I mean, obviously, we're on first iteration and things get changed. But like, I've done Vandal Swarm and Pirate Swarm one-handed with the freelancer miss without doing anything other than just spinning around and shooting, and it's killing everything. And it's like, well, that probably that level of easiness probably shouldn't be yeah. available. I mean, yeah. obviously, I get um, new players um, wanting to hit stuff, but I don't know. Normally, in games, you kind of get introduced to uh, low-level mobs or things like that, which would get you. Um, practicing how to shoot or be better at combat, and like uh, Max said, like if the more you um, tra training something, like you said, if, you, if it's going to be jobs for everybody, and you're hiring people, you're going to want people that are good at combat. Of course. And then if it's for PvP reasons, <coughs> you've got people that aren't very good can go against other people that aren't very good. And if you meet someone that's more skilled, then you've got the option to turn around and run. And you let you know you don't fight. You don't fight people that are yeah, better. Like I mean, that was always going to be my plan. <laughs> Uh, talking of AI, is there anything you can say? How's the whole subsumption system, the AI, how's that coming along? Uh, it's definitely progressing. I mean, there was a lot of um, <clears throat> a lot of work at the end for, uh, on 3.5 that had to get optimized on AI yeah. and ship AI, right? We had a lot of issues with that. Um, but sometimes the AI work itself or stuff AI, let me retract that a little something one discipline actually needs to address it's not because that thing is wrong mm. it's because it doesn't interact well with a different thing right right yeah so yeah. the way this was done was correct but it's now not playing nice with this thing and this thing can't change yeah so yeah. now they need to modify the approach so it was some of that at the end but um yeah it's going good i mean we're it's uh, the team's making progress 
Um, we're still actively looking for uh, more and more AI programmers just because yeah. the amount of love we know that needs to go into AI is huge, yeah, right? Awesome. The more resources I can get there to help fine tune and create behaviors mm -hmm. and modify those behaviors and, you know, uh, and push it really yeah. to where the level of what we all want and what, what Chris's vision is, um, yeah, I could probably use another good three or four AI guys and we'd be good. I think because the, the, the whole thing is, um, it's obviously outnumbered by NPCs compared to players, so yeah. AI is so important for it to be believable. And yeah, 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 so yeah. yeah can, can we get the link to the actual Star Citizen job page, please? Because we, <laughs> we need to keep, last time I looked, there was about 101 job yeah, vacancies. Yeah. Have you found uh, that decreasing the job vacancies, or are we still struggling to get the resources? Uh, we're never really struggling. I think you. it's easier to get some of the lower level and mid-level positions. Yeah. Once I start going, okay, I need a senior AI programmer, and senior to me means X amount of years in the industry, yeah. and X amount of tiles, and this type of computer language, and so on and so on, it gets more difficult just because those uh, there's not as many of those people. No. Right? No. Yeah, of course. So, um, yeah, I mean, we still have a fair amount of positions. If I were to hire everybody we have active right now, you know, we would uh, need a new building. <laughs> and if we get to that point, then you know we get to that point, and yeah. we find a new space. Fingers crossed, we get the people. Yeah. We need. <laughs> it seemed like a lot of people in the chat hated the uh, aim assist. Yeah, that's the general yeah. consensus yeah. that we tend to hear. Is this. Um, I do know Todd, the other design directors and leads. We listen to people's feedback. Yeah. Mm. We want the playability. We we're not going to do you know. There will be things in there, ultimately, that players may not yeah. gravitate towards or love day one, yeah. but then they'll understand where it is in the big picture. I mean, that's, right? Now, yeah. that is not Brian Chambers saying aim assist is there and it's <laughs> solid and it's going to be in there forever. I'm yeah. not saying that. False. What I'm saying is playability is really important to Chris and Todd and the design team, um, and they make that of the utmost importance. So. If, they re if they've played with it and realize eh, it's too sticky, do we need to loosen it up, wait, it doesn't make, maybe it doesn't make sense for FPS, but it makes sense for turrets. Yeah. I don't yeah. know exactly what that full scope is, yeah. right? Um, and but is it something that if it's not working, they would take it out? Possibly. I mean, we have the ability to do that, yeah. right? It's not like a rule You're book. You're not afraid to say, oh, we put it in. Oh, and God, no. Stay. No, no. You know, yeah. If we put something in and we realize, you know, um, there's a, a large amount of the community that's actively playing and they really are not enjoying it, yeah. we listen to that, 100%. And I think that's very difficult about the, the flight model that's just come in as well, because obviously you've got, it wasn't just the flight model with all the other bits that came yeah. in with it. People are saying, oh, the flight model's rubbish, but it's like, it's like the aim assist is affecting it, the heat thing's affecting it, and it's like all coming at once, and it's very difficult to kind of pick through the feedback sometimes yeah, yeah. of what you're actually listening for. Absolutely. What bit of it do you actually hate? Especially, I mean, there was that recent survey where people asked for feedback, which I thought was yeah, a great idea. Really because yeah. It means, because a lot of the time you get where people say, oh, it's always the, the not silent, silent no, the majority, minority, yeah. the loud minority, one of those. <laughs> the anyway, opposite. Um, they, they speak up loudest and then no one, you know, and they yeah. learn their opinion. Whereas there's lots of people that, um, enjoying it and don't say anything. So yeah. I think, and we were saying on the podcast that it's important to go out there. If 100%. you are enjoying it, go on there and tell them what you're enjoying. Hundred percent. We 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 listen all over the place. I mean, the way people play and how they play and what do they like and not, you know, and play times and all that. We get a ton of reports that are generated, some on a daily basis, some on a weekly basis. Um, there's a community report that goes out on a weekly basis that basically is scrubbed through everything. Not everything, because that would be impossible. But it, scru it scrubs through a majority of uh, community messaging and different boards and different that. And it's grabbed the highest counts of this and this and this to really kind of put to a, a specific audience of directors and execs and so on. Here's the current voice of community. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And it says, this is the highest thing that people are upset about this week. <laughs> and here's the number two, and here's number three. Yeah. These are what people are really enjoying right now. Yeah. And number two, number yeah. three, and so on. So not only do we just listen to it ourselves from what we hear, but we generate 
reports to go cool. Yeah. What is the community thinking about the recent content, the recent updates we've done here and here, the way where we've changed ATV, you know, all this yeah. stuff. Yeah. Because we want the feedback so we can help push it in a way that, that, you, that engages you guys and that yeah. you guys are going to like. I mean, that's, that's what's so good about it being open development and the fact that you listen to us. Is, like, for example, the aim assist. When something goes in, it's not just in and now done. It's and some things I try to get across to some of the, uh, the sort of new backers and whatnot is that it's all iterative. Yeah. And when something comes in, it doesn't mean because we get so many like, oh, our court's empty. What's the point of this planet when there's nothing to do? It's like, of course it's empty. So it's it's this point of <laughs> like everything's version one. Everything, unless this is going back to the whole. Do you want to build a game that's playable to a point of this yeah. now or yeah, is yeah. It an alpha? And it's like you say, it's a mixture. You want to give that in there, but the, the thing is, we can change. You change things as you go. Yeah. Based on our feedback, and that's not something you see in a lot of game developers. Well, obviously, the indie games industry, they they do tend to listen more, but not to the level that CIG do. And it is our influence that's changing the game as well. So yeah, it's confirmed. Brian says he's getting rid of aim assist completely. <laughs> Yeah, oh, look at the time. <laughs> <laughs> Always get in with that one. <laughs> Have we got a question there? Um, well, I think someone that keeps spamming something over and over again about, about um, FPS and like the, the, the long range um, distance. I think, yeah, through the FPS sniper scope, at the range that it's supposed to shoot to, you can't see that far, basically. But the long range thing. But that's to do with the uh, draw distance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yep. So as we're saying, so we've got to have more stable service for us. Uh, how's Scotland 42 coming along? Can you say anything about what's progressing there? Or? I can say it is progressing. Yeah. <laughs> On track. How's that? Yeah, perfect. <laughs> is that good? <laughs> no, I can say it is progressing. I mean, I, I have the, uh, the cinematics team. It's in Frankfurt, so I see stuff almost on a daily basis. Yeah. Um, uh, so what I see from the cinematic side, it looks amazing. Yeah. It um, really is. Really uh, looking forward to that. Are we uh, passing it on to the uh, special uh, effect? No, special no, effect thing. Has it started? Yet? I think. I've seen some of the stuff special effects done. It's been pretty crazy. They were here last year, and they've yeah. got there's so many different. I mean, we were on about all our peripherals, like joysticks on the yeah, side. Yeah, yeah. They have like chin controllers. Absolutely. Eye tracking, of course, is another. Yeah, one. yeah. I just worry about eye tracking. I just. <laughs> I can't control where I'm looking. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you, when I was in college a really long time ago, um, and it was art school, uh, there was a friend of mine, and he was disabled, and he was in a wheelchair, um, and he could only move his head. Right. It's one of the most talented animators I had ever met. Wow. And he animated with his eyes. Wow. Really? And I would sit and watch him and just go like, dude, you're nuts. <laughs> and like literally, he, he could animate an entire scene and rig, and he's modeling and the whole bit. And it's like, so uh, those external peripherals to enable people with any form of disabilities, it's rad. Yeah. It's so cool. And that they can play games like Star Citizen. Like yeah. They can enjoy the experience. Yeah, yeah. And it's it's way cool. Wiped, I'm sure they'll wipe the floor with me in dogfighting. <laughs> Even using the chin to control it or eyes. Crazy. Yeah, you'll never know, right? You'll no, just, yeah. You just get your ass beat. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, thank you so much for joining us, Brian. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Always a pleasure to see always. you. Always. Oh, Don't cry. <laughs> Don't cry, especially you. I I'm promise running. we wouldn't. I know. <laughs> Don't leave us again. <laughs> Absolutely. So I'll see you next year? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Unless yeah, we can right. drag you over earlier. <laughs>